Alright guys, this is Mike M here and this is my review of the Premier Reticles Light Tactical 3 to 15 by 50 millimeter rifle scope. In 2008, Chris Thomas, the grandson of Bob Thomas, the founder of Premier Reticles, recruited a team of German optomechanical engineers who are responsible for the quality scopes you see today. One thing I really like about Premier Reticle is that they started manufacturing tactical rifle scopes first and have since then made hunting versions of these scopes, where most other companies have done the opposite by trying to build up their hunting scopes into tactical rifle scopes. As you can see, I've painted my scope. They come in a flat black out of the box. The Premier Light Tactical is three quarters of a pound lighter than the tactical model and has a 30 millimeter tube body compared to the 34 millimeter tube body of the tactical model. The elevation turret is a double turn and low profile. It has 12 mils of elevation, which is enough to get a 7.62 NATO or a 308 round out to 1,000 yards. A window on the elevation turret indicates whether you're on your first or second revolution with a 1 or a 2, depending on which revolution you are on. The windage turret has 6 mils of travel in each direction and a window to indicate whether you're going left or right. These windows on the windage and elevation turret will not jam up from dirt or dust. The light tactical comes in .1 MRAD or quarter MOA adjustments. Zeroing the scope is done by loosening the set screws in the turret with the included 1.3 millimeter Allen wrench and turning the turret until the zero is on the index marker. The parallax adjustment knob is on the left side of the scope and allows you to eliminate parallax from 50 meters to infinity. I've adjusted the parallax on this scope on a target a thousand yards and still had some adjustment left over compared to some of the other high-end scopes where I ran out of adjustments around 800 yards. You'll notice that it is not marked for distance. This is because the parallax free setting for a particular distance changes with temperature and atmospheric conditions. Marked distances are inherently inaccurate. The illumination knob is built into the parallax knob. I really like this because it provides the shooter with more space on the tube to space the scope rings apart for different scope mounts and bases compared to other scopes that have a separate illumination knob that limits the mounting surface on the tube. The illumination has 11 settings with the first three being for night vision devices that mount on the ocular lens like a PVS-14 for example. If you use a clip on night sight that mounts on the front of the scope you don't need to worry about what setting the illumination is on because you are not intensifying the reticle with the night sight like you would with the device that mounts behind the scope. The illumination knob can be switched off between settings so that the shooter can pre-select the desired brightness level for standby operation. The illumination knob also has an auto shut off feature that will shut off after 6 hours without manipulation of the knob. The eyepiece focus adjusts like most common optics by rotating the ocular lens in or out until the reticle comes into sharp focus. The magnification ring has a rubber coating on it providing for a non-slip surface. The magnification also goes its full range of magnification in a 180 degree turn. The scope comes with Tenebrix Tactical Tough scope caps. I like these scope caps compared to others because they're easy to open and close and do not pop open when you don't want them to. Also they lock back into place when they open and the caps don't break off very easily. This scope comes in three reticle options all etched glass in the first focal plane. For my scope I chose the Gen 2 reticle because I thought the Gen 2 XR was a bit too thin for this magnification range. The objective lens is a 50 millimeter in diameter and provides a minimum light transmission of 90% with the help of anti-reflective coatings on the lenses. This along with quality glass gives the shooter a very clear image hard to beat by other scopes in this class. The only two things I would change about this scope is to have a physical indicator on the second revolution of the scope's elevation turret that you can feel with your fingers. 
and a hard click on the zero of the windage knob. Overall, I really like this scope and I recommend it to anyone who wants to build a light tactical rifle. That's my review of the Premier Light Tactical Scope. This is Mike M, and as always, thanks for watching.